Greetings folks, let's take a look at how to use Photoshop to align some photographs and create a panorama. Okay, so I've got four pictures here I took today in Dulwich Park on my iPhone. Okay, and I'm going to select all these and what I'm doing is I'm using Adobe Bridge, which is a good way to select and find and open pictures and use them in Photoshop. Okay, so I've got them selected. And one thing I can do in Bridge is go to the Tools menu. Here it is, Tools. Where it says Photoshop, I'm going to load files into Photoshop as layers. So I'll click on that. A new Photoshop document opens. Okay. And here we go. So we've got four layers here. You can see them turning them on and off. Okay. There they are. So I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to go over to the edit menu and choose auto align. Now we'll get some different options here. The one I often choose first is the auto. And that is basically Photoshop trying to figure out which is the best way of uh, stitching them together. Okay, now I'm just going to tick this off, geometric distortion. And then we'll just see how this works. Let's click OK. Okay, so it's going to take a moment to figure everything out. And it's going to stitch them together. Okay, now this is quite, oh, it's wobbly here. It's not great. It's not great. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to try again. This time with the uh, lens correction turned on for the geometric distortion. Okay, so again, it's figuring everything out. That's worked much better. Okay, with that ticked on. Alternatively, okay, I could try uh, simply just repositioning them. That won't distort the images at all. Let's try that. That's also done a pretty good job there. Okay, so I'm going to go with this. It looks nice and straight, uh, but of course the pictures aren't very well blended. We can see the edges, there's difference in lightness and darkness. So this is where we do stage two. We've we'll got to edit menu and underneath auto align, auto blend, okay? And we want seamless tones and colors. And I'm also gonna click this box to fill in these gaps and see what happens. So here we go. All right, so it's blended the edges and it's also used the content aware fill to fill in those gaps at the top and the bottom. See if I turn that off. Okay, those gaps there, it's filled that in. Okay, so now I've got myself a complete image. We've got a nice kind of straight line running through the horizon. We blended those edges and stitched the photos together. It's a great useful tool in Photoshop. Thanks for watching, buddies.